It's a brand new day for the semiconductor industry in the U.S., and that means great things for local company Micron. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, and I talked with Micron's executive VP of technology about how Micron, and Idaho in general, is ramping up to renew our reputation in the world as the leader in semiconductor technology. For decades, memory chip producer Micron, based prominently in southeast Boise, has navigated the wild ups and downs of the industry to emerge as one of the last companies of its type standing. And that makes it extremely important for national security. Semiconductors are so important to you know, the safety of our country, to the way we live our lives. And for the U.S. not to be a leader in semiconductors would put the generations ahead in a whole different kind of world. The CHIPS Act passed in 2022 aims to help companies like Micron stay on top. And a $5 billion consortium announced February 9th is designed to ramp up the education in that effort. With the passing of the CHIPS and Science Act, the opportunities for the semiconductor industry growth is incredible here in the United States and regionally here in Idaho. Dan Lamborn spent years working with Intel before coming to Boise State to head up the Institute for Microelectronics Education and Research. So Boise State, one, we started up this institute so that we could have a better uh, engagement with the local industry, including Micron. Um, and we're also looking at revamping a lot of our curricula. That way, Boise State, which has worked closely with Micron for years, can help provide the chip makers of the future. Certainly since the chips program was announced, we've put a lot of effort into meeting with them, making, helping them with planning. Um, you know, since you're at Boise State, I can say in particular, you know, they put a lot more focus into um, semiconductors just over this period of time in, in terms of looking at faculty and creating positions for, you know, making sure that they're strong uh, going forward. In a politically divided world, spending lots of money on anything these days can sometimes make you a target. But the CHIPS Act seems to have bipartisan support, at least for now. I hope that that lasts through an election year where, you know, lots of people be looking for something to complain about. Lamborn says it will likely take three to five years to ramp up the education requirements at schools across Idaho to provide the future engineers that Micron will need. But like the field of dreams, if Micron builds it, they will come. With Micron's investment of their new, new high volume manufacturing facility just down the street, we're going to be bringing in thousands of jobs to the state of Idaho just for semiconductor support. It's, gonna, it's a really interesting time. It's really exciting. The CHIPS bill invests $50 billion in semiconductor technology. Now, Micron has announced it's spending about $40 billion to ramp up. The idea is to bring our share of the memory chip industry up from nearly 2% to 10% in the next decade. In Boise, I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.